All right, this is, let's see, it's grade two, module two, lesson five. And in this lesson, we are going to be having our students, helping our students develop estimation strategies uh, by essentially applying what they already know about length to these new benchmarks that we want them to create. And you know, the theme of this entire module uh, is really just let kids measure stuff and observe the world around them. Uh, if you want, man, these worksheets are not all that important compared to just really the experience that we want our students to achieve, right? Now, in this in this um, lesson, uh, we want in the, here it is, the concept development, essentially, we want students to start developing mental benchmarks for length. Uh, and we want them to be, of course, using centimeters and meters. We're not going to be using inches and feet and miles right now. Uh, right now, we just want them using centimeters and meters. And one of the first little um, uh, benchmarks is this understanding that their pinky is probably right around one centimeter. Okay, And that's one of the most, man, because you're never going to leave home without your pinky. So this is a really awesome uh, benchmark. And then uh, you know that once you've got your pinky and that's a centimeter, you can now start estimating things like, okay, this box of uh, magnets. So you can say, okay, that's one pinky, two pinkies, three pinkies, four pinkies, five pinkies, six pinkies, seven, eight, nine. And you can say, oh, okay, this box is about nine or 10 pinkies wide. And so that means it's about 10 centimeters wide. And if we wanted to, let's, let's take out the, the ruler and then we can measure it. And look at that. All right. I don't know if you can see, but it's about nine or so centimeters. That's a pretty good estimation. Um, so let the students just go around the room and measure stuff um, and have them estimate first. Hmm, am I about to measure something like this pen? Is that going to be something in centimeters like this? Or is that going to be something that I measure in meters? And check this out. Here's a meter tape. And a meter, what is a meter? What's a benchmark for a meter? Well, here's... Here it is. Here's one meter. It's a hundred centimeters. And really, if you want, for me, I, I'm lucky because when I stand up, a meter, boom, hits me right in my belly button, right there. So that's a meter. So if I ever want to know, hmm, how tall is something, I compare it with my belly button and I know that that's a meter. And it helps me kind of estimate as I go around my day. Uh, Heads up, though, by the way, here's some funky things that you might have to worry about. One, check out this ruler. First off, you'll notice it's done, It's not going by 1, 2, 3. It's going by 10, 20, 30. That's because it's counting millimeters and not centimeters. And that's not a second grade standard, is to convert between millimeters and centimeters. So be aware of that. Uh, so you want to use measuring uh, rulers that have centimeters. And then check this out. Don't forget, this one, the centimeters don't start on the edge of the ruler. That's a little tricky. So when you have students measuring things, make sure they're lining up the object on the line or wherever zero is. If it's on the edge, so be it. But this ruler, if we lined it up on the edge, we would be wrong. So make sure you help your students see that part as well. And then let's scroll down real quick. Let's go down to some, some problems. So in the problem set, man, right here. So, well, you can first measure that line right here, and then you can, me you can measure it with a, a, a ruler, and then you can estimate, or you can estimate first and then measure. You know, what we want is we want students to experience measurement. That's the only way they're going to learn it in an authentic way. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the homework. And here, when students go home and they're going to measure things, um, for me, the height of from the floor to my belly button is about a meter. For kids, they probably aren't going to be able to use that. So another uh, benchmark that they might want to use is that a meter is generally from the floor to their doorknob of a, of a house door. All right, And then they can run around and estimate things. 
And if they're wrong, it's okay. It's not important. It's you know, the way to learn how to measure and uh, estimate measurements is just to go do it. Uh, and then here, they're going to be using some common sense. Hmm. Is a whiteboard three meters or is it 45 centimeters? Hmm. Well, the kids, 45 centimeters, they can put their pinkies together and get 45 centimeters and know that, well, a ruler is 30 generally, about 30 centimeters, so 45 is not going to be very long. That's not much of a whiteboard. Um, or they might say, well, three meters, that's about three steps long, you know, three a step, you know, a, a person taking a step, that's about a meter. Um, so that's the kind of benchmarks that we want students to use in this lesson. Go measure.